so I'm just about to go in and collect my hamster. I am so excited. I am so excited. So it's a female winter white and I've decided to call her Pip. Um, so yeah, you'll see her in a minute. So cute! Oh, you've got some hay. She loves hay. Perfect. She's eating it all. I put it in there for her to make a nest with. She just eats it all. I'm like, yeah, I like I've bought a big bag of hay. Give you something else to make a nest with then. She just keeps eating it. So you can see her moving around. Popping her head up. I'm trying to be super quiet so she can get a little bit settled in. I don't want to scare her too much even though we've got a bit of a drive home. I gave her a little piece of cucumber but I think she's a bit shy at the moment. This is Pip once I moved her from her travel cage into her main cage. She's just having a little look around at the moment and getting to know her surroundings. And you can probably see that I have the glass still in there with some food, as that's what I had to use to coax her out and transfer her into a new cage because I didn't really want to touch her yet and scare her. And she climbed right into the toilet tube, which is so cute. She, so she seems to like it in there. I'm going to leave her be now and just let her get settled in. This is three days later, so I gave Pip some time to settle in. I fed her a couple of times yesterday from outside the cage and she was really comfortable with it and she was quite curious. So now I can start putting my hand in the cage and feeding her and seeing if she'll let me pick her up. I'm taking it slow and just allowing Pip to go where she wants to go. You don't want to be grabbing and picking up your hamster. You can probably see that she's trying to nibble my hand. Um, so I'm kind of just moving my hand a little bit away so she knows not to do that. And hopefully in time, she will not only my hand, just the treats. I think it's probably just the smell of the food on my hand and her sniffing me and just wanting to get to know me. soft and warm. She's literally like a little snowball. Oh, you can see her biting my No, Pip. You don't want to bite my hand. No, she didn't like that. Okay. <laughs> I won't be doing that. I can see such a cry. <laughs> She's not ready for that. So that shows you it's very easy to tell when you do something that hamsters don't like. Earlier on in the video, the breeder did st stroke her when I went to collect her. So I know she doesn't have an issue with that. She's just not comfortable enough with me yet to do it. So I'm just going to give it a lot more time before I'm able to stroke her and properly pick her up. And that will all come, in, come into the taming process within the next few weeks. This is day number four and I've just put another different treat on my hand for Pip 
and let her come over to me. So I only put my hand in when she's awake and she's usually already eating. I wouldn't try and put my hand in when she's kind of asleep or anything like that. I only want to do it when she's up and she's ready to because you don't want to be waking your hamster up. As you can see, she has taken the treat from my hand. She's hopped on, but she's taken her treat away and wanted to go away with it. So I don't want to push it any further with that. Um, so I've just taken my hand out and just let her be now. This is day number five and I'm feeding Pip a little bit of cucumber and just a little bit of her food as well. So as you can see, she's getting a lot more comfortable with me now and as soon as I put my hand in she's comfortable to just hop on. There's a lot less biting, she's only enjoying her food now which is really really good and I can just slowly lift my hand out and this is the first time I was able to take her out of the cage and just get her sitting on my hand and she crawls from one hand to the next and you overlap your hands which is so exciting, I'm really really happy about this. So that's the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it my next video is going to be a little unboxing as i've bought a few more things for pip and i'll also be updating you on the taming process and how i'm getting to know pip more so thanks bye